We'll get started on hands and knees. So just kind of spread out through the fingers, take the knees into the hips, and just initially start just kind of by tipping side to side or back to forth, back and forth a little bit. So really just kind of finding a bit of movement. You can think of it like um, down dog. When we get into down dog, we kind of shift our weight, and move around a little bit to stretch. Doing the same thing here a little bit. So not thinking of a specific type of movement, but kind of just changing where you're putting the pressure maybe in your hands, and maybe tipping side to side, or maybe letting your hips twist a little bit. You can even look back to one side. You can go forward and back a little bit. So just kind of being a little bit creative. Sort of as you notice something that might be stiff in your hips, your shoulders, your back, maybe kind of stretching or pushing a little bit into that space. So just kind of seeing what your body feels like. And from that, start to move that into making circles with your hips. So you can make that kind of a slightly larger movement. And you can go as far back as far forward, far out to the side as you like. Maybe changing the direction of the circles. So it's kind of nice, especially in the morning when you're first getting started, just to sort of almost experiment and test out what your body feels like, where things stiff, especially if you've just gotten out of bed. They make just one more circle and then ease your way back up to your hands and knees. And just readjust knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Just press your upper back up to the ceiling, relax your head and tailbone down. Really press through your palms. So not pushing your back up as high as you can, but trying to kind of use the muscles in your back, your arms, your hands, relaxing the head. And then relax everything. So relax your arms, your back, your elbows can bend a little bit. And then lifting up the chest, lift up the tailbone. And then again, press into the arms. Maybe think of squeezing the muscles in your legs a little. And then relax everything. Let your head, your tailbone drop down. Press the upper back up a little. Press into the hands. Relax the head a little more. Press to your upper back. Soften everything, let the elbows bend a little bit loose. Passing through that neutral position with the spine, then lift up your head, your hips, press into the palms, maybe squeeze the legs a little. And then relax, just coming back to a neutral position with the spine. Take the left arm up to the seal. Just take a little breath in. As you breathe out, spread the left arm through underneath your right and come all the way down to the floor. So left shoulder, left side of the head on the floor. You can either press with that right hand to kind of push your right shoulder back and deeper into the twist. Or you can slide the right arm forward, letting the elbow and armpit drop down. So just noticing what feels better on your back. Toes can be tucked under, whatever feels good. Take a slow breath in here. You might notice it going into your chest a little more than your belly, depending on the position of your body. And then the exhale, softening, relaxing a little bit. If you've moved the right hand forward, bring it back. And breathe in as you press into the right hand, take the left one back up towards the ceiling. And bring the left hand back down towards the floor. And we'll swap to the other side. So a little breath in as you take the right arm up. Exhale as you thread it through. Bringing right shoulder, right side of the head towards the floor and all the way down. So again, decide if you want to press into the left hand to push the left shoulder back, making the twist stronger. Or less of a twist, slide the left hand forward, relaxing left elbow, left armpit down towards the floor. So again, taking a slow breath in. Notice kind of where the air goes. Might be more in your chest. It's just harder to get it in the belly in this position. As you exhale, relax a little, maybe bringing the left hand forward back if you split it forward. Inhale as you press into that left hand. 
Press the right one back up to the ceiling. Nice big stretch to the right. And exhale as you bring the right hand back down to the floor. Move your hands forward. And if you haven't yet, tuck your toes under. And press your way up into down dog. And think of it again a little bit like we started on the hands and knees. Wiggle around and move a bit. So you can tip side to side, lifting up hands so you're changing the pressure in your palms and your wrists. You can walk through your feet, stretching through the backs of the calves, hamstrings. You can twist the hips to the sides. So whatever feels good. And then coming back through the middle, just bring the knees down to the floor and sit back into child pose any way that's comfortable. So you could take the knees wide, toes towards each other. Or you can just have the knees where they are. Find a comfortable place for your arms. So find somewhere that you're not necessarily finding a deep stretch, but you can kind of relax down towards the floor. On a breath in, let your belly kind of lift up from the floor. So belly lifts up and that'll kind of help your back rise and round up towards the ceiling. And then as you exhale, just soften and let everything sink back down towards the floor. So do that a few times moving on your own breath. It's like a really mini version of the cat-cow. You're mostly going to be feeling that in sort of your middle to upper back. And you'll notice your belly and your chest kind of rising up off the floor or off the thighs and then softening back down. Just take one more round. And on that last exhale, really focus on just kind of letting the body sink to the floor. And then slowly walking your hands back in. Bring your knees back in underneath you if you've taken them wide. And then lifting your way back up, make your way back into down dog again. And again, move around a little bit. Wiggle. Walk through the feet. This time from down dog, you can still bring the knees to the floor, but bring the shoulders forward over the hands and come all the way down to the belly. Once you're down to the belly, bring the right forearm underneath your forehead and reach back with the left arm so you can catch hold of left heel, your trousers, your ankle, whatever you can reach. Looking for a stretch in the left thigh. You can either push the foot into your hand as your hand resists. You can squeeze the buttocks. You can lift the left thigh off the floor. Or you can point the left knee towards the back of the mat. So just be careful that none of those cause pain in the knee. And then relax the muscles in your buttocks and your legs. Slowly let go and we'll swap over to the other side. So you can reach back with right arm, grab hold of whatever you can reach. So if you can reach your ankle, your heel, maybe it's just your trousers. Again, looking for a stretch in that right thigh. So you could squeeze the buttocks. You could point the knee towards the back of the mat. You could lift the knee ever so slightly off the mat. Or try pushing the foot into the hand as your hand resists. So lots of different options there, trying to get the muscles working. And then relaxing the buttocks and the muscles in the legs, slowly let go and bring your hands back alongside you. Tuck the toes under. We'll just press up through hands and knees, but try to round your back as you push up. So look back at your belly, let your belly lift off the floor. Push all the way back into child's pose and make this a big extended version. So arms are out in front. Try to have elbows off the floor if that's comfortable. You can slide the hands back a little if you need to. You could even come up onto your fingertips so your wrists are flexed down and then let the belly and the chest and the head sink down a little more. And then bringing your palms to the floor, easing your way back up into down dog again. And then take small steps as you make your way towards the front of the mat. 
coming to a forward fold. Relax your body, let your feet be hip width apart, let your head go. Lift up just halfway, hands could be on shins, knees, or thighs, so you can look forward and stretch forward with your chest. And then bending the knees, relax your back, and step the left foot back to a lunge. Bring the back knee down to the floor, and bring both hands inside that right leg, and walk the right foot out to the right. You can bring the palms forward on the floor in front of you, and start to bring your hips and your groin forward and down towards the floor. You can even lean your chest down a little. Get really active in your right foot. So like push the right foot down through the floor. And as you do that, you should almost feel your hips kind of lift up a little bit. It's a little bit safer for your hips and your knees. It'll give you a more active stretch in your thigh. Just leaning down wherever it's comfortable. Start to ease your way back with your hips. Moving the hands back, bring that right foot back to a lunge, so hands either side of that right leg. Lifting up the right knee, come back into the lunge. And take your right hand onto your right thigh or knee and use that hand to twist your chest to the right. So pressing both into the right hand and, off, and also the left palm or fingertips on the floor to helping turn your chest further right. If you want to, you can lift your hips up a little, push into the right foot, and that might give you a stretch in the right buttock hip. And the more you sort of push that right hip back, the bigger the stretch. Bending that front knee, coming back to a lunge. Move your hands forward and step forward to the front of the mat, back to a forward fold, and relax as you fold back down. Lift up halfway. Hands can be on shins, thighs, or knees. Use that to look forward and lift up your chest. And then relax your back, bending the knees. Step your right foot back to a lunge. Bring the back knee down to the floor, both hands inside that left leg and move the left foot out to the left. Bring your palms forward, and your hips and groin and thigh can come forward and down towards the floor. And as you go, push into that left foot. So really think of trying to stomp the left foot through the floor. You want to feel the muscles in your calf, your left thigh, your left buttock, your left hip, all working to push that foot down. They're going to be trying to kind of pull your hips back a little at the same time as you're leaning forward. So you should be finding a stretch in that left thigh. Relax a little as you move your hands back, bringing the left foot back. Left hand goes either side of that leg, and then lifting up the back knees. So you're back into a lunge. Left hand onto the thigh, using the right fingertips or palm on the floor and the left hand on the thigh. Use them both to press down and turn your chest to the left. If you want to, you can stay here or lift up the hips, pushing into that left foot. The more that left hip pushes back, the bigger the stretch in that left hip or thigh or leg. And then bending the front knee, bring the hands onto the floor and step back into down dog. Wiggle around, walking through the feet a little bit, find a little bit of movement, letting the hips relax. From down dog, lift up your heels and round your back as you come forward into plank. And then lower down to the floor, however you'd like to. You can move your hands if you want to be more comfortable. Point the toes away and then press into the floor, squeeze the buttocks and lift your chest. Coming back down, tuck the toes under and make your way back into down dog, however you go. Try to look back at your belly as you push your way up and then push all the way back into down dog. Walk your way forward towards the front of the mat again, back towards that forward fold. Bending the knees, start to lower your hips and roll your way up to a stand. As you come up, rolling the shoulders back, let the arms circle out and overhead and bring the hands down in front. Take the hands either side of your ears. Tip your upper body over to the right and step your toes out to the right. You can bend the left knee and let your hips move left. And the right arm is going to press alongside the right leg. Try and flex your palms. You're pushing down to the palm. And left arm pushes alongside the left ear. 
And again, flex the hands, like pushing out through the palm of that left hand. So big stretch in the left side of the body. Come back to the middle, bringing your hands back, step your foot back. Tip over to the left, step the left toes out to the left side. Bending the right knee, let your hips move further right. Press the left palm alongside that left leg. And the right palm makes your arm go alongside your leg. Big stretch in the right side of the body. Come back into the middle, bringing hands and foot back. This time, turn towards your right. Press the right hand out to your side, left hand in front. So you've got an L-shaped knot. Flex your fingers up to the ceiling, so stretching through the wrists. Come back around to the front. Turn to the left, left hand to the side, right hand in front. Flex the fingers and push out through your palms. Try and think of armpits going down as you press through the palms. Come back into the middle, bringing your hands back around. Bending the knees, step the left foot back to the lunge. So same movements with the arms, just now we're in the lunge. So back thighs pushing up, back heels off the floor. Tip your body to the right, pressing right palm towards the floor. Left arm goes alongside that ear. Think of stretching through the left side. Bring your hands back and lean forward as you step forward. Bend the knees and step the right foot back to a lunge. Back heels up, push that thigh up. Tip your upper body to the left, left palm to the floor. Right arm alongside that ear. Big stretch in the right side. Come back and lean forward as you step forward. Bend the knees and step the left foot back to a lunge, back heels up, back thighs up. Turn to your right, right arm out to the side, left arm in front, so L shape with the arms, flex the fingers, press out through the palms and drop your armpits. Bring the hands back around, lean forward, step forward. Last one is you bend the knees and step the right foot back to the lunge. Back thighs up, chest is up, turn to the left, Left arm to the side, right arm in front. Flex the fingers, press through the palms as armpits go down. Bring the hands back around, lean forward, step forward. Relax your arms down at your sides. Give your shoulders a few shrugs back and a few shrugs forward. And then with arms at the sides, take a breath in as you take the arms up overhead. Exhale, arms wide, bend the knees, fold forward, come down to that lunge. Oh, come to a forward fold. <laughs> Lift up halfway, knees can be bent, stretch forward. Bending back down, step your left foot back to a lunge. Bring the back heel down to the floor. Push the front right leg straight, right hand to the shin, left hand up to the ceiling. Bending the front knee, bring both hands back down to the lunge. Lift up the back heel. So you're back in that lunge. Take the right arm up to the ceiling and twist to your right. We've done this before. So put your weight into your right foot. Start to lift up your chest. Your right arm is going to reach back behind you as your chest lifts up. Left arm goes forward. Look forward in front of you. You're going to step forward on that right leg, lifting up the left knee and bring your palms together. So you're balancing on the right leg, palms are together in front of the chest, left knee is lifted. Try and kick the left foot out in front of you, turn your chest to the left, and reach the left arm right back behind you, and the right arm out in front. Bring your hands back around, so palms in front of you facing forward, bend the left knee. Bend your standing leg, Lean forward as you step the left toes back to the lunge. We're retracing our steps here. Turn your, so ponder together in front of you, turn your chest to the right. Strong option, keep the back thigh up. Gentle option, bring the back knee down to the floor. Turn all the way to the right and bring that front left elbow down on top of your thigh. Tipping the fingertips to point forward, right elbow points up to the seat. Pressing with the top palm onto the bottom one, turning your chest deeper into the twist. If you want to, you can lift up the back thigh now, if you brought it down, or you can keep the back knee on the floor, your choice. So you can either bring the back knee down to make this easier or keep it up as you unwind your twist. So bring your chest and your palms back around to face forward. If you've left, brought the back knee down, you can bring it back up. So we're all back in that lunge. 
Bring the hands down to the floor and press your way back into down dog. Walk through the feet a little bit. Find a little bit of movement in your ankles, your hips. From down dog, lift up your heels, round your back, make your way forward into plank and come all the way down to your belly. Point the toes away, squeeze the legs, press into the floor to lift your chest. Coming back down, tuck toes under and make your way back into down dog, however you'd like to go. Walk, step or jump towards the front of the mat, back towards that forward fold. From the forward fold, just lift up halfway. Hands can come to shins, knees, or thighs as you look forward. And then relax as you fold back down, relaxing your head, and bend the knees and step the right foot back to a lunge. Bring the back heel down to the floor, push the front left leg straight, left hand to your shin, right arm up towards the ceiling. Bend the front knee and bring both hands back to the floor, lifting up the back heel to back in that lunge. Left hand up to the ceiling, so you twist to the left. Start to push down into that left foot so you've got your balance and you can lift your chest up. Bring your chest all the way up, left arm goes back, right arm goes forward. Look forward in front of that right hand. You're gonna step forward, Balancing on the left leg, lifting up the right knee. Bring your palms together in front of your chest. Kick the right foot out in front. Turn your chest to the right. Right hand pushes all the way behind you. Left arm pushes out in front. Bring your palms back together in front of you as you turn your chest forward, bending the right knee. Bend your standing leg. Lean forward so you can step the back toes back to a lunge. To find your lunge, palms together in front of your chest. You can keep the back knee up or bring it down. Turn your chest all the way to the left, front right elbow onto the thigh. Tip the fingertips to point forward, left elbow to the ceiling. Press with the left arm into the right to twist your chest to the left. And now if you want to, you can lift up the back knee if you brought it down. If you want, keep the back knee up or easier, bring the knee down to the floor first. For everybody, unwind your chest and hands back around to the front. Lift up the back knee now if it's still on the floor. For everyone, reach the hands down to the floor and step back into down dog. Wiggle through the feet a little bit, spread out through the hands, find a little bit of movement. Lift up your heels and round your back as you come forward into plank. Lower down, however it's comfortable. Putting the toes away, hands wherever you like. Squeeze the legs as you lift your chest. Come all the way back down. Tuck the toes under and make your way back into down dog, however you'd like to go. Just take a moment here in down dog. Easy breath in. On the exhale, maybe bending the knees so you can lift the tailbone up, pressing through your heels. And then bring the knees down to the floor. Just have a seat off to the side as you swing your legs around in front. Just come to a cross-like position, any way that's comfortable. From here, bring your hands onto the floor in front of you and start to walk the hands forward. Depending on your hips, you might get a stretch in your hips or your buttocks or your inner thighs or groin. If you need it to be stronger, you can flex your feet and move them further to the outside edges of the mat. But otherwise, you can just stay in a comfortable cross-leg position and lean forward a little bit.
Start to walk your hands back in so you can lift up your chest. Tip back, change the cross in the legs. So the other legs in front, again, comfortable cross leg position. Hands come onto the floor in front of you and just lean forward. Maybe you can walk your hands forward, maybe not. Depends how tight your hips are. And again, if you want a stronger stretch, you can flex your feet and move them further towards the outside edges of the mat. But really, if you can, just find a comfortable cross leg position. Leaning forward, relaxing your head. Letting your breath start to slow down. And then walking the hands back in as you lift your chest up. Just staying in that cross leg position for a moment longer. Bring your palms together in front of you. Take your hands down so the heel of hands come apart and find a stretch in your wrists and fingers. Take your hands back up, elbows towards each other, and open the hands like a book, letting the fingers peel away. Bring your hands back, the elbows go wide, the back of the fingers and the back of the hands come together and the fingers rotate forward, relaxing shoulders down. Bring your hands back around, pinky, thumb, heel of hand come together, elbows towards each other. Take the arms up a little bit like a chalice, but still have your shoulders and your armpits down. And then gently relax, giving your arms a bit of a shake and your hands a shake. Come forward a little bit on the mat, have the feet now out in front of you. So uncross your legs and bring the feet to the floor. Feet about hip width apart, knees bent, still sitting. Take the hands back behind you with the palms on the floor, fingertips pointing towards your heels. Spread out through your fingers, pull the elbows and shoulders back and press into the palms as you push your chest forward. You can lift your chin up just a little, find a comfortable position for your neck. You should get a big stretch through your wrists, your arms, your shoulders. Take a little breath in, it's gonna go into your chest as you press down through your palms. And as you exhale, just relax, grab hold of your thighs with your hands and lower your way down to your back. Make sure your head's on the mat and with the knees bent, feet on the floor, bring the feet in just a little bit more. So heels are kind of roughly under knees, feet still about hip width apart, arms can be at your sides. Press down into your feet, and start to lift your hips up off the mat and then slowly peel your back off the mat one vertebra at a time. Just lifting up to a place that's comfortable. Be a little active through your feet. Find an easy breath here. And then slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. When your hips reach the floor, relax the legs, the hips, and the buttocks, and bring the knees in towards your chest to give them a bit of a hug. Taking happy baby if that's comfortable, so grabbing outside edges of your feet, or if you need to, you can grab the back of your legs, maybe rocking side to side. And then relax and let the feet come to the floor and find a comfortable position for Shavasana. So you can let the legs go down the length of the mat, letting the feet flop out to the sides, or bending the knees to take the feet to the floor. Arms wherever it's comfortable. Closing the eyes. Take a slow breath into your belly. And as you exhale, Relaxing, feeling like your body's sinking to the floor.
slowly take a breath in. Think about filling up your belly and your chest. As you breathe out, relaxing through your belly, stretching your arms overhead, big reach, reach fingers to toes, as if you're waking up all over again. Relaxing the legs and the arms, bending the knees and rolling over to your side. Again, slow breath in and on the exhale, just relaxing, sinking towards the floor. And then using the hands to press your way up to a comfortable seated position. As you breathe in, you can grab onto your legs or press onto the floor to lift up through your spine. And as you breathe out, soften, relax, and bend forward, relaxing your head, your neck, and your back. Let your eyes open and slowly make your way back up. Thanks for coming today, guys. Have a happy Friday. See you next week.